whether you can see that there's like a, a small floating toolbar that, that appears if I click it and go to another dialog box there which I know you can't see um, I have now downloaded that image to my hard drive as you can see there of course it's copyrighted so I will immediately delete it but um, you can go to sites like the uh, Creative Commons and, uh, and find non-copyright images there uh, very useful uh, what else let's go down to the information bar here of the uh, of the browser that there is telling me there is a small amount of internet activity uh, might be on another browser I've got going I don't know uh, but otherwise I should be really worried about that there's a button there which instantly mutes all sounds coming from web pages useful for those annoying websites like MySpace that insist on blasting your speakers when you're not least expecting um, this button here the show hide collector this is useful um, so I'm researching an article for instance um, a thesis uh, so I can just simply drag text over like that it's automatically saved I can create new tabs for different subjects that one there for instance I use for uh, as a, a ready-made template for submitting my site details to directories um, you can save each tab as a text file you can also upload to the cloud which can be useful if you're on a different PC using Max Thumb and uh, you can get instant access there so that's the collector what else ah this button here note how it says zero okay let's disable it switch it off and visit one of my favorite websites here we go Oops. Uh, ba, ba, ba. you ready for this okay <laughs> Sorry about that. Note how long it take, took to download and look at all these adverts. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so let's reinstate the filter. Refresh the page using a mouse gesture, you'll notice. And look how quick it is to download now. And you'll see a distinct lack of adverts. It doesn't make the page any more pleasant to view I agree but look at the number now 23 adverts blocked and it's easy to add um, more adverts into the filter it comes comes preset with their uh, templates as filters you can also add to it let's get rid of that I'm sorry about that what else screen capture here's a nice little nifty utility I can capture the full screen a region a window current web page all web pages in the browser uh, let's just demonstrate a region so I'm researching an article yet again there's a, uh, an extract I wish to include within it or it could be in a movie even I can just drag a portion out like that of a region I can adjust and fine-tune the positioning and sizing click enter enter the file name click save and boom downloaded to the hard drive to be used in an article or uploaded to web server later excellent feature another one up one level this can be quite useful when you wish to uh, lots of sites these days are, are uh, structured hierarchically through the URL which you can see in the address bar there so if we just demonstrate this you'll see us actually climbing up the tree sometimes can be useful to find other uh, articles for instance to do with wind power or energy or earth like so um, what else this one I use quite frequently for blogging or writing articles uh, it's a it, it is an add-on which I've uh, had to install highlight text click on that and paste it like so boom and you'll see it's pasted it formatted as a block quote the actual text I extracted and also includes a formatted link with the title of the web page included for SEO friendliness very time-saving feature indeed what else sometimes you uh, close a tab by accident clicking or pressing Alt Z reinstates the tab uh, instantly I mean it's surprised now often I actually do use that so it's, uh, it might seem trivial but it's it's quite useful um, what else 